uh, this is the Doppler ball. Uh, really simple. You just need uh, normal. Most electric, most science pumps have an electronics kit like this. Just a battery, buzzer, couple of wires. Connects up. Really annoying noise. Okay. And once you connect it up, I'll do it quickly. I'm going to place it into a Tupperware pot that we've already made. Uh, it's got holes in the top and a bit of string tied to it. So just pop the lid there. So you connect it up. Place it into your Tupperware pot. Put it all in there. And then put your lid on like that. So that it's now sat in there. Now it needs to be very, very um, tightly wound down. So I tend to use sellotape just to make sure that that is it's not going to come off. So actually wrap it around perhaps a few times. So there's no chance of it coming off and hitting a student case towards the point. Once you've done that, all you're essentially doing then is swinging it around your head. Now I'm not doing it very big, I'd much do it in a much larger curve, um, I don't worry about hitting the camera, uh, but in a classroom environment you can do it a much bigger curve. And what you should hear is the note going up and down. I'm not sure how clear it is on that camera, but the students always hear it. If you're in the centre and just swing it around, you won't hear it, but the students will. Uh, what is happening and why? Well, let me just quickly take this off and I'll explain. Okay, so what's happening and why? Well, as the Doppler, boat, uh, as the Doppler ball moves towards you, the sound waves that are coming out are being compressed, the wavelengths being compressed. Therefore, the frequency is increasing, so the pitch goes higher. As it moves away from you, the sound waves are being stretched, so therefore the frequency is decreasing, the note goes lower. You get the same effect with police cars driving past, a train going past, a plane, uh, and it's simply just the Doppler effect, but it's nice for them to actually see it in effect inside the classroom.